Now, the mainstream media is busy salivating over comments the governor Romney made four months ago at a fundraiser. But ironically, some other issues seem to be boring the liberal Obama mania media. For example, where are the questions about the abysmal unemployment rate or his promise to cut the deficit in half in his first term? What about the violence in Libya and how it can be tied to this administration's failed foreign policy? Or whether or not the president received a warning three days before the Benghazi attack that killed an ambassador and two Navy SEALs and one other person? And four years later, the thought about asking the president and his ties to the unrepentant terrorist Bill Ayers, well, that never crosses any reporter's mind. Now, tonight, there is another story that we know the mainstream media will not touch, and that's this. The Daily Caller got its hands on dozens of emails between the Justice Department officials and some of their staffers at Media Matters. Now, the explosive investigation reveals that the Department of Justice and Media Matters conspired together to spin stories and try and discredit news outlets such as Fox News for accurately reporting about scandals involving Eric Holder and his agency. Joining me now with reaction, Fox News political analyst Angela McGlowan and Fox News contributor Tamara Holder. So we got Benghazi. We had three days warning. The Obama administration did nothing. They had no beefed up security on the anniversary of 9-11. Uh, we have a president, according to the Libyan president, that's lying to the American people about all this and about whether it's pre-planned. Six trillion in debt, fewer Americans working. And what does the media want to talk about? When Romney speaks out about our embassy being breached, our flag being burned, and an Al-Qaeda flag being hung, <laughs> and about what he said in May, which was true, that half Americans don't pay taxes, that there's an entitlement mentality in America? Does that, does that sound like objective media to you, Tamara? I thought this segment was something about this Daily Caller story that you wanted to talk about. You know what I just this read? Got it. The, the, the Daily Caller got its hands on an explosive story. I, I thought, because you, you know, I wasn't the ready for those is, other parts of this Do you think argument. the sellout media in this country is doing the American people a service in exposing the truth before a no, tipping no, no. point election? Sean, you, you ready said for, for these uh, questions. That was a joke. Wait, wait, wait. That okay, was okay, a joke. Okay, thank you. You're being but, facetious. Okay, I, I, thank yeah. you. Okay, so. God forbid I actually say something that's Funny. You know, not taken out of context. Okay. You said that the media conspired, the left-wing media conspired with the White House. Let me tell you something, Sean. The Daily Caller actually did a FOIA request. Now, I'm a trial lawyer. I have experience in these things. Really? They did a FOIA request. Yeah, I know it's shocking. Um, they did a FOIA request. They got emails, none, none of which were hidden. And the White House actually pointed to no, things. The they department, weren't no, hidden. But, Angela, but when, you, when you ask for information, they're supposed to respond in 20 days. It took them nine months for the Daily Caller to get 70 emails. They, are, uh, they are allowed to an extension, number one. Now, also, did you read, I don't know if you read these uh, letters that the White, did you read the letters? I did read the letters, which, and which I know ones? a lot about which, media matters. Which I, letters I read, did I read you the read? Email. I read the email. Angela, which that, letters no, did you read? No, first of all, I'm not letters a trial here, and I'm not being questioned by you. This is his show, number one. Number two, when you have the highest law enforcement agency in the land working with a left-wing organization to spin the message, they're supposed to enforce the law. But the Department of Justice right. is trying to stifle let me, let me, free speech. Let me, let me stop no you. Hey, hang, on, hang on a second. We're getting into the weeds. <laughs> we are now. We now know. We had three days warning on Benghazi. We now know on the anniversary of 9/11. Don't you think you ought to beef up security at our embassies? Yes. Yes or no? Absolutely. Okay. And I'm well, here's disgusted the by it. What, I am what disgusted is, by that. We have six trillion in new Obama debt and no jobs. Is that more important, or when Mitt Romney, the, the second that he decides to say, "Hey, speak out," because our embassy is breached and I'm glad uh, he did. Our flag is burned. You're what you're really upset about, Sean. I'm is upset that about the media and their lack of about obje objectivity and fairness. You're upset about the private affair that actually disclosed what Mitt Romney felt about 47 percent of Americans. No, that wasn't a private affair. Excuse, that was a Political event. Was his excuse, which is generally they are event. private, with all due respect to both sides. But it's not a private affair. Wait, wait, no, no. He I, wasn't I, anything no behind line. closed doors. I believe in redistribution. That's what President Obama said when he, long time ago, when he gave a right, speech Tamara's in 1998. Your eyes. Go ahead, finish. 1998. Your finish. Well, I'm just trying to figure out. That's how it really feels. I'm just trying to figure out what this debate is about because if we're going to talk about, about this media daily bias. caller, but your intro, Sean, was about this daily caller article. That was a part article. of it. I mentioned Benghazi. And now Did you this pay daily attention? caller article. I what mentioned Benghazi, their failed policy. Sean, I mentioned can I just it. please finish? Did 
you, my my opponent here, did you, Angela, read the letter that was given what by... What are you talking about, well, honey? Because I read finish. emails, not a letter. Was it a letter that All the right, David Caller sent to the Department of Justice? To what are you talking about? We're talking about? talking about media bias. And I'm saying they are doing... The media generally is doing a disservice to this country by not focusing on important issues. We have 15 million more Americans on food stamps, Tamara. We have a two dead Navy SEALs. We have one dead ambassador. And they are focusing on insignificant tape that, of Romney saying that is true. Does that bother you? It's a simple question. Absolutely. There are things about the Obama administration that bother me. But you are also focusing on things that don't necessarily matter or Excuse that aren't... Me? Wait, let, her finish. let me ahead. finish. My question is, the email, this article, this Daily Caller article, uh -huh. brought out letters that the administration had given to the Daily Caller yes. by Frank Wolf. From the did you read of that? Information Act. R right. By and no, I have not read, did you read the letter letters that you did have you here from the U.S. Well, actually, I read rights? these, Angela. I read these. So well, that means what? Okay. It and means our tax that there was no cover-up. There was no cover-up by the left media. Are going to there was no cover-up. Don't our allege that there was a cover-up. The Don't allege that there was a cover-up. Our tax dollars are going to the Department of Justice. We support that. And they're actually And they're not covering with, anything up. They complied with, with the Freedom of Information Act. Guys, I go. Guys I Emails go. from the spokesperson of the Department of Justice. Okay, thank you. All right.